So one thing that's happening, I think that's really quite interesting in, in many ways, is that we're approaching a world that is omniscience, you know, knowing everything. Because today in this world is not just Wikipedia, but you can tell, you know, already there's applications like Google Now and others that will go out and fetch information for you and deliver it to you in real time. And this is the future of information technology. Right? We don't search, we just have things delivered to us. So omniscience is within reach. Is it a good thing, right? Or a bad thing? Well, I would say it's pretty dangerous to be ignorant, but it can be just as dangerous to be omniscient. Yeah. Both things are probably true. So what do we do about this? What do we do about a world like this? This down here is a project called the Oculus Rift, which is a virtual reality gloss, glasses that you wear, to do virtually do things, anything from flying into space to solving complex problems to uh, operating on a patient to everything, right? to live in a parallel reality. Right? The bottom line is this, we're living in a world of exponentiality and the stuff that you see in her and other movies about artificial intelligence, you know, we're only right now at the, at the lowest point of that pivot curve. And there's many good things about this. For example, I'll be able to figure out, if I'm in the advertising business, I'll be able to figure out much more accurately how to reach people. And if I'm in the energy business, I'm much more efficient with distributing energy. There's many good things about artificial intelligence. So then we have to figure out what is this future? Are we going to end up in this space to where we're connected to this network? And how, how will that interface look like? 